about the internet of value at Ripple, we're thinking much bigger than just cross-border payments. It's kind of like Amazon with rare books in the early days. Just this market happens to be a $10 trillion market. We are at a historic turning point. Said in the past that you are doing for money what email did for communication. Moving the whole revolution forward. There's trillions of dollars parked around the world. RP. Is there a possibility that Ripple could take over Swift one day? Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Turf Hour Script. Let's get right into today's video. Time is ticking, and it's been ticking for years now. You guys are all probably wondering what is going on? When are we going to see XRP moon? But, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. The plan behind XRP is much bigger than you actually think it is. You have every single government entity on board. They're trying to create a level playing field that is soon going to be seen by the entire world, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode. The DTCC, FIS, they're all in this together. Fed now, they're all in this together. You can make this stuff up. Where do we even begin? Why don't we go and start with some hard hitting facts right off the bat that there are just about 50,000 people on this planet that own more than 50,000 XRP. Just let that sink in folks. On a very conservative scale and numbers a lot less, okay? On this planet, with 7.7 .7 billion people, there is 50,000 accounts. You could just divide that in two because you know multiple people hold multiple accounts. There are 50,000 people that own more than 50,000 XRP. 50,000, ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna melt people's faces. I guarantee you, okay? With that being said, look at the violation tracker of the top 100 most penalized parent companies as AKA banks. We have Bank of America sitting at $87 billion in total penalties and they're still operating their Ponzi scheme. We have JP Morgan Chase, $38 billion, almost $39 billion and still operating its Ponzi scheme. And keep in mind, the deals they do under the table are not gonna be shared here. But can you, how does this make sense? If we were, if the tables were turned and we were at the other end, we would be in jail by now. But it's again about how long they've been in, in this, you know, they're just helping the Ponzi scheme. They're making the world go around. If you guys haven't heard this saying, Money makes the world go around. Think about it. If we didn't have money, what would we be doing? It is basically modern day slavery. We wake up, we take a shower. I don't know if you guys do, but we, we you know eat breakfast. We go work for nine hours, eight hours. We get our money. We go spend our little money. We get food. We buy stuff online. It makes us happy. It's just modern day slavery. That's all it is. And crypto is your opportunity once in a lifetime to get out of this. But you know, they're not gonna make it easy. They're not gonna make it easy for you guys because why would they? This market cap is at 1.1 trillion. Keep in mind folks, just 100% conservative. This is going to 20 to 40 trillion market cap, hands down 100% within the next, you know, 10 years on a conservative scale. With that being said, take a listen to what John McAfee says here, okay? This was an MM Crypto podcast that they did, but John McAfee is, you know, out and about. He's not dead. You think he's dead? Absolutely not. He went MIA in Spain. How much crypto do you think it takes to buy yourself out from the Spain government? Just like what Max Kaiser is doing in El Salvador, their population is less than 3 million, and he's just pumping the government and their allies with crypto. And he says, oh yeah, look at El Salvador. They love Bitcoin. Folks, Max Kaiser is sitting on over 100,000 Bitcoins, and you could buy anything 
with that. And I mean anything. Do you know that with the Bitcoin I have, I can buy any freaking senator or congressman I want? I make the laws. But take a listen to what McAfee says about Bitcoin not being the one. Bitcoin, and when you, when you say Bitcoin, in my mind, I'm thinking about cryptocurrency because Bitcoin, you know, is, is going to be a, a, a always around and I believe will be our store of value for crypto, but it, it will not be the winner, certainly, uh, for a whole bunch of reasons, and the least of which is is, uh, is privacy. You know, there, there is not a right on empty. There simply is not. Privacy. Privacy is going to be absolutely massive and Ripple has privacy within its network. Ladies and gentlemen, take a listen to what David Schwartz says here. This was back in 2017 about the future price of XRP and why it's important for institutions. Um, institutional buyers who may buy XRP with a lockup, they have an aligned incentive with us and other people who hold XRP because the future value of XRP is very important to them and, that's, and we're able to use it that way. It's and you'll be surprised, but when the truth comes out, you'll see how many institutions and corporations and treasuries are going to actually be holding onto XRP in the near future. Just ask yourself, why hasn't the price gone up in over the past 10 years? Because just wait, that's all I got to say. Patience is going to be your best friend, or can I say patience is the best asset that you could be holding onto right now. And that comes within you. Okay, and we have just everything is going on. It looks like a new world order is about to get implemented, right? We got the BRICS nation coming out with this. The BRICS group is set to introduce a new currency backed by gold in contrast to the credit backed US dollar with countries lining up to join the growing initiative. The BRICS countries are planning to introduce a new trading currency which will be backed by gold. More and more countries recently expressed desire to join BRICS. New money, new world. We've been calling this for years now. But just wait, folks. I, I know it sounds very cliche. It sounds crazy. But you have no idea, and neither do I, how much stuff exactly is going on behind those closed door meetings. This is going to be absolutely massive. We have the DTCC and Fed now indirectly working with Ripple, FIS, on the ready to support Federal Reserve's new instant payment service. And FIS's PDF that they published a couple years ago for on an open payment framework, they mentioned that FIS integration, so FIS is integrated with Ripple's blockchain-based solution, is being used at our clients for making cross-border remittance payments. The integration covers transaction creation, ingestion into the network, and upfront transparent disclosure of fees and Forex rates before the customer confirms a trans transfer. So in other words, FIS has been integrated into the Ripple blockchain, and now, FIS's clients are utilizing that indirectly through FIS. So FedNow is working with FIS, that's great. However, FIS on the back end is integrated into Ripple's blockchain. That is great. Do you see how this indirect partnerships are correlated to each other and it's very important? Just like the DTCC. DTCC's National Security Clearing Corporation, that's what NSCC stands for, processes first trade. The first trade, there's a lot of stuff that they're gonna be you know, testing, they're gonna be halting transactions, they're gonna be halting projects, they're just gonna run little projects to see how they do and then go ahead and alter them. But take a listen to this. New service leveraged, provable markets Aurora, someone that used it, and the connectivity and integration from FIS to clear first trade. The connectivity and the integration is through FIS. But we just talked about FIS is integrated in the back end to Ripple's blockchain based solution. Ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and smash that like button. I can't make this more clear. 
Patience is going to be your best asset. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate every single one of you guys. And we have the final, final spots for the Yacht Party. 24 Hours Crypto Yacht Party happening in Miami on the Seafair. Link in the description down below with a purchase of an XRP pendant with chain only. You will be added onto the list of the 24 hour crypto yacht party. Further email communications will be going out within the next 48 hours. Please go ahead and put down your personalized text. You guys could put, you know, today's date. You guys could put when you guys got into XRP and the price of XRP, which you guys got into and something to look back at, you know, 10 years from now. If you don't put anything in this field, you will just get today's date and uh, today's price of XRP. But you can put anything that you want up to 12 characters, okay? And it will be engraved on the back of your pendant, folks. So with that being said, if you guys are interested in attending the 24 Hours Crypto Yacht Party happening in Miami, further email communication will be sent after the purchase okay this is going to be the final one we have a hundred and fifty five people we're going to cap this out just over 200 originally it was going to be 300 but we have to make some rooms for some you know unannounced xrp youtubers that are going to be also joining us on this yacht party names of that which will be announced very very soon but i just want to say if you guys want to come link in the description down below with the purchase of the xrp pendant and if you're probably asking yourself why do we have to buy a pendant to be on the list well if i were to just create a random list and say please go sign up i'm hosting a six-figure yacht party we'll have thousands of people I need your commitment. This is your commitment. This XRP pendant is one of a kind and is the only one on the internet customized and made, all designed by me, folks, okay? Link in the description down below. There's gonna be additional costs for the Yacht Party, of course, but this is for you to get on it. This is something for you to look back on when XRP is trading handsomely above double digits, triple digits, the price must be high, and that is a fact. So if you guys wanna join me on the Yacht Party, it's gonna be absolutely crazy. Uh, link in the description down below, there is less than about, less than 50, about 41 spots, and that's it. That is it, and we are locking this up. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate every single one of you guys, and we'll be back with another. We started building RippleNet with the thesis that crypto liquidity would eventually be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat-based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was mature enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Flip the switch. <laughs> I think what we're building has, you know, it's solving a real problem. And I think all of the tokens, my advice to anybody would be understand the utility. If there's real utility and there's real value being delivered to a real customer, there will be value in the token.